Hi everyone, Josh here with another quick fix video for you all today. This one is all about how to fix USB ports that aren't working in Windows 10. This could be on your laptop or your desktop PC. As long as you're running Windows 10, these fixes should work for you. I do want to point out that USB issues like this are more common on laptops and laptops can sometimes have issues with power simply because they're going back and forth between AC power and battery power. This video will cover any issues you're having with USB ports that simply aren't responding when you plug something into the USB port that your computer is not registering at all. Or maybe you've been using a device on your computer such as a mouse or a microphone and that device has simply stopped working without any indication as to why. We're gonna fix this problem quickly for you today. It's only gonna take a few minutes to run through the list of solutions. Let's jump in. All right, I'm in my laptop today because like I said, this issue is most common on laptops. But again, these solutions will work with any Windows 10 machine. The first thing you wanna do is make sure that Windows 10 is fully updated and that you've restarted your computer. This may seem like boring advice, but the reality is that Windows 10 updates can sometimes break your system, just like the USB ports, and sometimes it can fix your system. In this case, maybe fixing your USB ports as well. So let's go ahead and go into the Windows Update. Hit your search bar and type Windows Update. Once you've loaded in, make sure that your Windows machine is up to date. You can see here that I personally have updates available. If you find yourself constantly dealing with Windows updates on your laptop, you might wanna check out this video as well that kind of explains why it's a pain in the butt on laptops specifically. Otherwise, let's go ahead and install these updates and get our computer restarted. Now that we've gotten our machine updated and restarted, that may have solved your problem right there. If not, let's move on to the second fix. I mentioned before that most issues with laptop USB ports are related to power management. And that's because laptops are always trying to find ways to save power and make that battery last a little longer. In this case though, we can force your laptop to keep those ports active all the time by changing a quick setting. Let's check it out. Jump down into your search bar and you're gonna search for device manager. Once you pull that up, you're gonna scroll down to the universal serial bus controllers. Go ahead and open up that menu. You'll see a bunch of stuff in this menu. You only wanna pay attention to the root hubs. These may be called USB root hubs uh, with USB 3.0 in parentheses. They may be called generic root hubs. Either way, that's what we're looking for. If you have the USB root hub, that's the one you should try first. We're gonna right click this. We're gonna go down to Properties, select it. Then we're gonna to move to Power Management. And we're going to uncheck the box that says, allow the computer to turn off this device to save power. Uncheck the box, hit OK. We're gonna follow this process for all of the USB root hubs that you see here on the list. You'll note that if you click on either the composite device or one of these AMD or Intel specific host controllers that's related to your motherboard, they're not gonna have this power option because they're controlled in a different way. As long as you've unchecked all the boxes for this power option, you're done in the device manager. Go ahead and see if your USB device works now. If either of these first two solutions helped you with your problem, please consider dropping a like on the video and letting us know in the comments which fix helped you. If not, let's go ahead and head over to the third fix. The third fix is similar to the second one in that it is something else that your laptop can do to deactivate your USB ports to save power, and it's called the USB Selective Suspend Mode. What we're gonna do is go into our power options and change a couple of the advanced settings to get this to stop. Just jump over to your search bar and type power and sleep settings, open it up, then you're gonna click on additional power settings. Once you're here, you'll see your laptop's current power plan. In this case, it's balanced, and you'll be able to change a few more settings. What we're gonna do is select change plan settings under our current power plan. This opens up another menu. We're gonna click on change advanced power settings. From here, we're gonna go down the list until we see USB settings, and we'll open up that menu. Here we see USB selective suspend setting. We'll open that up, and when we're plugged in, we'll have that disabled. And when we're on battery, we'll have that disabled as well. Let's click apply and hit OK. This should take effect immediately, so hopefully this solved your USB problem and your device is now working. You might want to do a quick restart just to check. 
If not, let's go ahead and head to the fourth fix. In the fourth fix, we're gonna go back to the same area we were for the second fix where we checked an option for our USB device, but this time we're actually going to uninstall and reinstall the device in Windows to see if it can refresh those drivers for. Let's go back into the device manager. All right, let's pull this up and go back down to our USB area, open it back up. Then we're gonna take those same USB root hubs that we saw earlier, but this time we're gonna actually right click on it. We're gonna uninstall the device. Give it a second to refresh, go back, uninstall the, the other device, Now you can see that those devices are no longer installed in the system. Don't worry, they're still installed as hardware in your system. We've just uninstalled them in Windows 10 so that we can reinstall them again with fresh drivers. What we're going to do is go up to the What we're going to do is go up to action and select scan for hardware changes. It's going to run a quick scan to see if it finds any new hardware available in the system to install drivers for and it'll automatically install those drivers as well in the background. If we scroll down after a few seconds, we'll see that the two USB root hubs have reappeared in the list and they've now gotten their drivers reinstalled. Hopefully this fix worked for you and if it did, please consider dropping a like on the video and letting us know in the comments section that it helped you so that other people in the community can benefit as well. If not, we have one more solution to check out. Let's move on to step five. In this step, we're going to either disable or enable the fast startup on your machine. The fast startup is an option that is usually enabled by default in Windows 10 that helps reduce boot times when you restart your computer by doing some tricky things in the background with hibernation and suspending some of your system hardware. So what we're going to do is enable it if it's disabled or disable it if it's enabled and also sometimes just flipping it back and forth can solve the problem as well. So let's jump into the menu. We're gonna go back to the power and sleep settings that we were in a little while ago, and we're gonna go into the additional power settings again. Now this time, instead of hitting change plan settings, we're gonna to go to choose what the power button does. Once we open that up, we'll see that there are some options down under shutdown settings that are grayed out. What you'll need to do is click this link here that says change settings that are currently unavailable. That's gonna ask your computer to give administrative privileges to you so that you can change some of these system settings. You can see after clicking that this has now become changeable. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna turn off the fast startup or if it was already on by default, we're gonna turn it off. We can save these changes and then restart our computer to see if they have helped. Hopefully one of these five solutions has fixed your laptop USB ports. And if you're still here, I appreciate you watching the video and would hope that you would consider dropping a like on the video to help me out and help others in the community by letting them know what worked for you. If you wanna see other videos just like this where I walk you through step-by-step -step how to fix the most common computer issues, whether it be with your laptop or your desktop PC, then consider subscribing to the channel and we'll provide you with more of this content. And if you have any other questions about this particular problem or anything else on your laptop or desktop, feel free to leave a comment below and I'll be sure to respond to it personally and maybe even make a video about it in the future. Thanks.